Hey, welcome to Cutting the Caboose. And this is the video that those bogus diet peddlers do not want you to watch because in this video I'm going to show you how to make a tailored diet plan for yourself or for your family for weight loss, for weight gains, for bodybuilding without having to pay anyone a penny. Let's get straight into it. So look, it seems like every day there is some new miracle diet on the market all promising the, the earth. Easy weight loss, fast weight gain for muscle built bodybuilders or easy to follow just by these magic pills or product. I mean, come on, blah, 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 blah. You see it over and over again. And unfortunately, because these things, uh, they tap into our subconscious. Oh, I need this. To, if you're like me, you need to lose weight or you were struggling to lose weight, you easily buy into this. But what if I told you with the information in this video, I will show you some tools that you can use to work out your exact calorie requirements and the kinds of food that you should be eating and how you can tailor it to your own lifestyle. It's really, really simple. And all it comes down to is calories, which you've heard of, and macros, which you may have heard of, but you're not really sure what they are. Well, keep watching because this video covers it all. Okay, the basics of this. Calories are the amount of energy in the food we consume. We burn a number of calories every single day. And the basic science is, if you want to lose weight, you eat less calories than you burn. And if you want to gain weight, you eat more calories than you want to burn. It's simple. Now where all the diets and fancy schmancy, and frankly, mostly bull comes in, is in the macros, in how those calories are made up, what types of food, and we're talking about protein, we're talking about fat, we're talking about carbs, how the calories you consume are made up what the percentage is of those three basic types of foods. How do you work out how many calories you need to lose or gain weight? So first of all, we have to take some measurements and to do that, obviously I don't know how many you need because your height, your gender, weight, etc., all all matter here. So if you look in the description box below or popping up on the screen somewhere right now is a link to a calculator that will work this out for you. It's based on the catch mccardell equation, which is pretty accurate. It's more than enough to give us our baseline figures. So go ahead and click that link, open it in a new tab, otherwise you're gonna lose this video. Put in your details and keep watching. Once you've entered your details, it should give you roughly how many calories you need to consume to lose weight or gain weight, or basically if you haven't had anything else, the calories that you need just to maintain. And based on only calories, the equation is very simple. So the calories you consume are known as your TDEE. That's your total daily energy expenditure. Now, to lose weight, it's quite simple. To gain weight, it's simple. To stay the same, it's quite simple. And the formula goes like this. If you want to lose weight, you should eat 75 to 80% of your TDEE. So, you know, if you had to, um, if you had a thousand calories, which that's low, then you would eat, you know, 800 calories. Basically, you want to eat 20 to 25 percent less calories than you need to, you know, uh, to exist. Then, if you want to gain weight, it, you can. You should be adding 10 to 15 percent on top, so it's slightly less. And if you want to maintain your weight, then you just consume that number of calories every day. It's that simple. So now we know how many calories you need in a given day. How do we work out what to eat? How do we work out what to break this food into? And this is where these different types of diets come in. For example, uh, a high carb diet would have a higher number of carbs or a, a high protein diet would have a, a much larger amount of protein. So you'd eat lots of lean meat and less sort of fat and sugar and carbohydrate based foods. Okay, it's that simple. But how much? How do you work out the exact percentages to know you're optimizing your diet? Look, if you only stop at the calories, now that you've worked that out, the bottom line is if you eat less calories than you need, you're gonna lose weight. However, by engaging macros, by utilizing those macros, we can really refine that and make you feel a lot better and generally either exercise harder or lose weight faster or what you know, we can tune the calories now. So this is the good stuff. This is where, you know, the expensive nutritionists and things will give you a plan, which is basically exactly the plan that I'm giving you right here for free. And we start off by working out your protein. And this is probably the most important part in the entire video. Get your protein right first. And it's the first step in this plan. And the reason behind this is quite simple. Science, actual scientific studies, not marketing, shows that if you get your protein right, you'll recover better and more quickly from your workouts. You'll gain muscle and lose fat more quickly and efficiently. You will lose less muscle when restricting your calories, which will improve fat loss. 
our weight loss in general. You'll feel fuller and more satisfied over a, a longer period of time. And well, the bottom line is simple. A high protein diet beats a low protein one. There, is, there are many, many reasons, and as I've outlined above, why this is the case. So how much protein should we eat? Well, research shows that for most of us, the optimal amount of protein is between 0.8 and 1.2 grams of protein per pound of body weight. Around there is optimal. Now, if you're very overweight, between 25 and 30% over or above your ideal weight, then that can be reduced to around one gram per pound. Next, we need to calculate your fat intake. Now, it wasn't so long ago that everyone was telling you that a low fat diet was important. You had to have low fat, low fat, low fat, low fat. An entire food industry sprang up selling low fat foods and we listened and we bought this low fat stuff and we became ill <laughs> it was such a crazy low fat dieting even though for millions of years our ancestors ate loads of fat and were pretty much fine well they died when they were 30 but and had really bad tooth problems so that's i digress so and the, and the reality is yes getting your fat intake really really low will, is, will you lose weight quickly but man it is really unhealthy there is a short-term fix dietary fat is actually an essential nutrient we need it uh, and there is all kinds of reasons that our body needs fat from insulin production our hormone levels all kinds of things are controlled by our fat and it's also a myth that body fat and fat that you consume dietary fat aren't the same thing if you eat fat you don't get a fat belly you know they're, they're diff actually different things okay I, I know I, I don't need to explain this but you'd be surprised that being said eating too much fat especially you know from like chocolates and sweets that isn't doing you any favors either so be sensible here the idea then is to eat a moderate amount of fat don't cut out entirely and optimum for most of us is about 0.3 grams of fat per pound that we weigh and finally our carbohydrate intake oh man what do I say about carbs <laughs> Everybody at the moment is saying low carb, low carb, low carb, gotta have no carbs, low carbs. People are going crazy for low carb diets. Ask anyone and everyone knows that you have to have a low carb diet. You know this, right? Because you know, everyone says so. No, not true. <laughs> Ah, this is so irritating. When you look into the science versus the, the reality and the whoever's selling the latest diet fad book of the year or whatever or the week. As long as you regulate your calorific intake properly, it doesn't really matter where your carb levels come. You can literally be as lean as you want and eat all the carbs you want to. To underscore this, in the last 12 months, I have lost 140 pounds, I think, in the last 12 months. And I ate a lot of carbs, probably a little more than I should have. And I should have, and I've probably not eaten quite enough protein because protein's quite hard to eat because of the surgery I've had. But you know what? I'm fitter than I've ever been. I've got quite good definition coming. I haven't lost much strength. So yeah, and yet according to low carb experts, what I've done shouldn't even be possible. It wasn't even hard. So just, it's nauseating how wrong these people can be. Now look, there are medical conditions where, you know, which will change all this, but I'm talking about average people here, you know, people who fall in the normal lump on the, on the bell chart. You know, if, if there's any dietary specific requirements, don't listen to me, listen to your doctor. But I'm just talking about the diet peddlers here. So how do you know how many carbs? Well, we've worked out how much protein you need and we've worked out how much fat you need. So the carbohydrates are everything that's left. So that's simple. We know we, we work out the protein, we work out the car, we work out the protein, we work out the fat carbs are what's left however this is where the maths comes in and it gets a little bit complicated now, i've got to refer to my notes here so stay with me because i can't remember this stuff i've got to write it down so a gram of protein and carbohydrate both contain about four calories okay and a gram of fat contains about nine calories so to figure out our carbs here's what we have to do multiply your protein target by four now this is what the grams i was talking about earlier Multiply your fat target by nine. So add those two values together and then subtract the sum from your calories. The number you have remaining is your number of carbs. I'm going to write all this in the description below so you can see it and we'll put a little graphic on screen so that you can make it a little clearer. In that calculator that we showed you earlier, it's actually got a bunch of presets on there which will work out your macros for you. And there's a few different apps you can get for your Android or for your iPhone or whatever, which will do this for you based on the preset that you prefer. Now, remember what I said, getting your protein right is important. Keeping the fat moderate is important. Adjust everything else by your carbohydrates 
and go by how you feel. You've, everyone, all, every one of us will respond differently. So hopefully you've now learned literally the biggest secrets in the weight loss industry. By getting your calories first, your easy ones, and then calculating your macros accordingly. And honestly, even though I've given you the math here, you can do this from a tool, it's much, much easier. The takeaway here, calories always count. A calorie, from an energy point of view, is a calorie. A high protein diet always helps with muscle growth and it helps with fat loss. You need to eat a healthy amount of fat, but no more. So it's, you watch your fats, you need them though. And that formula that we've just talked about, it's not perfect for everyone. And so it will need some tweaking, but probably not by much. But if you are following one of those preset plans, at least now you know what sort of food you want to look for. And also that formula doesn't take into account things like your metabolism or any medical conditions. It's quite generic. So there is some, a lot of scope here for tweaking. And this is where the good personal trainers will come into their own. The bad ones will give you a tipex version of what I've just given you and they'll apply the same thing to everyone. And trust me, there are some bad PTs around. The good ones will actually take this and make it tuned just for you. However, unless you're competing, you probably don't need that. Also, always remember, you might want to go to the gym, you should go to the gym, but you can never out-train a bad diet. If you eat more than you're working out, you're gonna gain weight no matter what you do. So there's the bottom line. Eat less, balance your macros, and that's it. That is it. That is the secret to weight loss. It isn't even a secret. Now, in a follow-up video, I'll show you how you can track your macros easily with apps and what sort of foods I eat depending on the type of diet that you prefer. That'll be coming up in a week or two. But for now, well, I'm hoping that was really useful to you guys. I'm hoping you now know how diet works at a high level. And this is all the information almost all of us need, I promise you. It really is a simple part of the math bit, which you can do with a button click. So thank you all so much for watching. I honestly, honestly hope this was useful to you. Please leave your comments below. Like, share, follow, subscribe, etc. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.